going on guys so i gotta say i mean i didn't think that last video was gonna get that much love um and attention from a lot of you guys um i'm overwhelmed by it you know um i want to thank you guys for um the suggestions the comments you know about um options i can take um the good and the negative ones it's all love i appreciate you guys um i want to just say that this is kind of deep okay this is deep so I know a lot of people who were rocking with me from the start of my channel, who kind of fell off, le left, went away. Um, they see this as another thing that I'm just deciding to do. I'm gonna change my mind in a couple weeks. That ain't it, okay? I want you to understand, rise share is literally like an addiction, okay? Um, I'm addicted to it. Now, um, I'm gonna explain to you what I mean because I was talking to Callie Girl and I was trying to explain to her what I mean by that exactly. Um, if she's a nurse, which she's a nurse right now, if her company or that she works for, if they decide they want to expand, but they need to, you know, cut pay for the nurses, then she would have to consider taking that pay decrease. So say she's making $38 an hour. If they say, hey, we got to pay you $34 an hour, you can either take it or leave it. You got to go because she's temporary. Um, she has to make a decision. Do I take the $34 and continue and possibly get the 38 in the future? Or do I go and do something else? And you got to think, some of these people have been at these hospitals or whatever such for years. Uh, they like the patients. They like their um, co-workers. A lot of people are going to say, you know what? Um, I'm scared because I think that if I go to a different, try to go to a different hospital, I might not get hired. If you have issues going on, you have limited experience, etc. cetera. Uh, but then some people who are more than qualified, they're going to go and say, no, you cut my pay. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm the guy, I'm the person who's terrified of doing something else because of the fact I'm uneducated. All I have is a high school diploma and some college, but some college can't get you anywhere. Um, I don't really have any work experience because I've been doing ride share um, for the most part, let's say six out of the past eight years. And then the two years in between, I had nightclubs I was running. And then prior to that, I had my own business. Um, so that's my history, work history. Um, that ain't gonna help me. Um, I'm just terrified guys i'm terrified because i don't want to do something and take a chance on failure even though i'm currently failing because ride share is just the worst so that's the reason why i'm sticking it out with ride share and why i've been doing ride share you know um i'm only making 100 to maybe 200 dollars max a day and some days i might make more but most of the days i make less um so when it breaks down i'm losing with ride share so with that said, um, it ain't me, I'm not doing, the previous video is not about me quitting ride share. What it is, is I'm going to um, seriously go get a job uh, because I don't know if I said it in the last video, but I already paid um, $1,700 for tickets for um, three round trip tickets to go get my son and you know him to come here and then you know for 17 days and then go back. Um, I gotta pick him up from uh, Wilmington and fly back with them here and then go back and you know back and forth. Then I'm going to see my daughter. That's already set up. So October is shot for me. I got to go do that. I already paid for it. That's what's going on. September is a different story. September is a um, new start to the new um, journey. Now, as soon as I drop my son up back off at Wilmington, I'm going to go see my daughter. And about August like 28th to the 1st will be you know me back in LA, completely free to go get this job. Now, in the meantime, I actually hit up my friend who's been trying to get me to do life insurance sales forever. Um, I'm going to hit him up tomorrow and I'm going to see about um, doing the course, the class, whatever, so I can take the test. Then I'm going to look to do solar as he uh, recommended that I, I do. I'm going to see if he's gracious enough to give me the leads, you know, front me leads because the way it works is, you know, you don't get paid for your time, you get paid for what you sell. So I don't really have the extra money to buy leads. Um, cause they're about a thousand dollars and you get a certain amount of, of, of leads that will ultimately net you a few sales. And you got to remember with life insurance, you can make from a thousand to 10,000 in a day, you know, depends what you sell. Um, but my fear of that is I'll be bad and I don't want to go cold Turkey on other money and do life insurance sales. But at the same time I can do and make a hundred dollars a day with ride share and that'll give me, you know, eight hours a day chasing leads, trying to get sales. I get one sale, that's life changing. Because if I get one sale, 1,000 bucks, 2,000 bucks, that's as much as I'm making working 60, 70 hours with ride share. 
So that's more than likely going to be the option I take. It's going to be sales. It's going to be um, life insurance and, um, you know, uh, solar um, sales. But in the meantime, while doing that, I'll be getting this full-time job, a career. I'm not going to go to McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, or, you know, one of those jobs I'm going to end up quitting anyway to go do something else. My top pick is to be a police officer, but more than likely with my um, the fact that I have just a high school diploma, I do have a medical disorder considered, you know, it's ADHD. Uh, I'm on medication for that. S might be an issue becoming a police uh, police officer. Had surgery on my knee. That might not be too bad of a thing because I can still jog a mile and a half and under the 12 minutes that most require. But once again, I don't have any work experience, work history, and my credit is, is shoddy, even though um, I have a 666 six, six actually uh, credit score. And then my other one is like a 640. So it's iffy but it's okay you know if i don't if i'm not able to be a police officer there's other options um firefighters uh, from what i've been told and i've um, looked into it after the fact of having a conversation probably won't do that because i don't want to risk um you know my safety because it is dangerous and i don't think i got that in me uh, but there are other jobs i can do in a public sector and i'm trying to figure it out um so keep hitting me with the comments now just because i don't respond to your comment don't mean I didn't see it because I had like over a hundred comments in that last video. Looks like YouTube is pushing my video out again because you guys, I guess, enjoyed the last video, um, the um, journey and the fact that I'm making a change for the better. Now, um, I, I, I'm going to just like comments, but the problem with liking a comment is it takes it off of my studio. So now I can't see that I didn't respond to it. So all due respect to you guys, I know I'm not going to be able to respond to every comment. It's just too many. Um, and time is limited because I got to work all day, every day, you know, to get this money, especially now with my son coming down here for the, um, two or three weeks. So if I hit a like on it or a heart, that means that I liked your comment, but I'm not going to respond to everyone. But if I don't hit anything on it, that means I want to respond, but I'm going to respond later because I don't want to give you a short, you know, pointless message back response back i'm gonna wait because a lot of you guys are putting complex messages that i i've literally seen and i'm like okay i need to really write him back because he got some info for me a lot of you guys i see no cops and you know the process of becoming a cop which is why i see now i might not be qualified to be a cop that's okay um there's other options but um i'll leave y'all with the difference from me switching up months ago and saying i'm quit rise here and i'm done i'm about to go get a job and now and then at the beginning of this whole YouTube journey, me telling you guys I'm trying to make enough to get out of rise here was my fear. I fear failure, even though I'm failing right now. I fear not making enough to survive with the day job. I fear doing a day job again. But now rise has beat me up so much to where, you know, I gave you an analogy about the hospital job, taking, you know, what you can get, even if they continue um, uh, cutting your pay. That's what I'm dealing with. You know, I'm so used to comfortable and happy at times with rideshare that it allows me to continue just losing in the long run. So now that's where I'm taking my ball and I'm taking it, putting it back in my pocket. Um, I'm going to go and get a job, a 40 hour job that will be considered a career, which is why I threw out the police department because I'll be working 60 hours because I love working overtime and I'm going to pay time and a half. Forget about it. Um, so that's the reason why I put that out there. But if I don't get to do anything government related, then I'll have to go maybe see about working at the airlines or whatever such. I hate driving. So the CDL, guys, listen, I hate driving. Just because I drive ride share, because of the fact that it's literally addicting, don't mean I like driving. So I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. That's the point. It's just these apps are so good at manipulating you and giving you that high that you just keep going, keep going. But I absolutely hate driving. I don't drive for no reason. That's the point. So I don't want a CDL. I don't want to have to drive, do a driving job the rest of my life. So, you know, you have um, TSA, you have, um, you know, the airlines. Uh, I don't really know about that, though, because I'm not trying to be a, you know, flight attendant. I don't know if they're even hiring for that. But there's a lot of options I got. A lot of you guys recommend this, um, a few things. So I'm going to keep it moving. But remember, I'm going to be doing more than likely life insurance or and or solar job to where I'll be going and chasing leads and maybe knocking door to door. Um, trying to get people to, you know, contact me for life insurance. Could I not to show people value in whatever I have to sell? And that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, so that would be what I would do. On top of, I'm still going to do ride share part time because I have to pay my bills. And I can't guarantee that life insurance and um, solar money isn't guaranteed. 
Now, if I get good, I might come out the gate just hitting it, hitting them over the head with freaking, you know, good value on these plans, and then I might, you know, make some good money. If I hit like five to ten thousand the first month, then yeah, I'm not doing ride sharing. I'm done at that point. I'm literally gonna just go all in, sixty hours a week with um, life insurance sales and um, you know, the solar. I'll just go door to door. I'll just stand outside of Walmart with the suit on, handing people pamphlets and flyers, and try to get people to like contact me, you know. To, to, if they're interested because my thing is you know when you show people you know that you're a respectable guy sometimes they'll you know want to just listen to what you have to offer just to support you that's what i would do i would literally just stand outside of a government building pretty much where you're going to have people who um can afford the product may need the product stand out there with my suit on um giving people pamphlets like hey or flyers or like hey i sell life insurance you know i'm new at it i'm be honest with them I'm new at it trying to uh, see if I can get you a valuable plan that's going to change, you know, um, your life because now you won't be thinking, you know, in the back of your mind, I'm leaving my kids with nothing. Now, if it's your time to go, you know, 20, 30 years from now, you're going to go knowing I'm setting myself, my kids up for success. So that's my biggest pitch in regards to selling these life insurance policies. Now, I want to actually do it in the inner city, even though a lot of the people in the inner city, including myself, we can't keep up on our premiums. But at the same time, if you can get these people, um, you know, AKA like people doing risky jobs, um, they got the money to pay for a policy five years in advance. You just say, yo, you pay for this policy five years in advance, it's gonna get you, you know, $100,000 of coverage. So if anything happens to you, your kids is covered. Boom, there you go. Um, I think that would pay, you know, $1,000, $2,500, um, you know, of commission. But I'm not gonna talk more about that until I actually get into it because I'm just, um, hitting y'all with um, um, you know non-factual information because I don't know completely, but I know you do make good money. My friend actually hit me up the other day, like I think I should do live. I mean, I think I should do lift. Uh, he sent me a screenshot of his ten thousand dollar deposit from policy. So and I'm like, okay, you got me, you got me. So that may be an option I take in the meantime, or in lieu to um, finding a job that can become a career, and um, you know, police officer may not be it once again so you can leave that out the comments that's just my top pick because of um the fact that i want to be a servant to the public i want to help the people that i talk about the most and try to be a change that's it you know i want to be the guy that goes to school and talk to the kids and make being a police officer cool you know cool again because back in the day for me if you're a cop that was a cool job to be you were a superhero and i wanted to be like that again that way you have more people of like that look like us patrolling the community of us you know and you have a better you know um interaction because you're you know you get different respect levels to it instead of having somebody that don't live or never been to that certain community and they just you know tolerate us but they don't want to deal with us so they're going to treat us in the wrong ways half of the time so um that's just the top but it's other options but like i said i'm going to do ride share just to make 100 a day and i'm going to be chasing that um or learning how to do the solar and life insurance to make money in lieu to on the 1st of September, I'll be done with, you know, seeing my son and my daughter um, for a few months. And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk with my son about even moving here because of the fact that I got to set up shop and do something different to, you know, make up and take care of uh, obligations that I have that are still out there that I need to, you know, handle. Um, I'm going to first put on my, on the first, put on my suits every day, or just put on a dress shirt and tie because it's hot out here. And I'm literally gonna just, you know, spend some hours standing outside trying to sell life insurance. The people walking into Walmart, wherever I gotta go, wherever I can go without getting a loader in charge, I'm gonna go do that because I know I'm good at that. And I know I can get people to talk to me. And then while doing that and doing ride share, just enough to make a hundred dollars, which only takes me like four or five hours. There's certain times in the day that I know if I start at like 7 a.m. with Spark, I can make a hundred dollars by like 11. Um, easy because they give you offers when you first start early they give you nice offers and then you hit you wait around tw um, two three o'clock and you get hit overhead with a seventy dollar for 40 miles you can knock that out in two hours and boom now you got 170 dollars for the day it's that easy you know but the problem with me because i'm so addicted to this ride share game is that i i start at seven and i'm sitting around and i'm not taking you know crap offers which i know it's going to net me a hundred dollars but it's gonna be a lot of um, driving and a lot of um, work involved, which I need to just start accepting it 
And what I mean by a lot of work involved, I'm talking about like for a hundred dollars, I'm doing like 40 miles. That's just way too much um, in the big scheme of things, but actually not because that's still $2.50 per mile. But you gotta understand when you see like $10, eight miles, I mean, it's kind of rubbing you the wrong way or you see $20, but you gotta go 15 miles, kind of sucks, you know? Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's when I'm gonna start taking, you know, four hours, do a hundred dollars. Then I can take like a three hour break, four hour break. And then I can come back at like around three to six and get that $70, um, you know, 30 mile delivery. And that puts me at 170 for the day. Um, and I'll probably spend about $15 of gas. So that'd be the goal each day. And then in the mid middle of the day, you know, the break I take. And then after I'd finish that block, I would do, um, life insurance sales. And then with all that being um, happening on uh, first and on, um, I'm gonna try to find this full-time career, um, you know, job that I'll start doing and I'll just do rideshare part-time. Um, so I'm not quitting rideshare. Last time I'm gonna say that, it's more so I'm quitting the thought of doing it full-time. I'm done, I'm over it, I'm sick with the thought of it. Last time, you know, I tried to quit rideshare, a lot of the gig tubers, you know, and a lot of people that I was encountering brought me back because they're telling me they make it all this money. I'm like, you know what, I can do it too. And I actually came back and I started making some good money, but then after freaking three days, the algorithm caught up with me and it went to crap. So I'm not gonna let myself get tricked again. I know this feeling and I'm happy I did that video yesterday to refer, refer back to because I was absolutely sad and I look sad. Now I'm a little bit more upbeat because you know, you guys show me love in the chat. Um, earlier today and then you show me love in the comments you continue to do it you guys got that video over 100 likes I mean that made me really really happy because you know it made me feel like I got people that you know want to see me win and I know you know I don't know a lot of you guys but that is a good thing to have you know you got people that are really encouraging you and want you to win even the people that disagree with me every day you know, were giving me love and and, and praise and respecting um, the decision to try to get out of rice here for sure. Hand on the Bible, guys. I don't swear to God ever. I'm out, literally. Like, I'm out. Yes, part-time means like four or five hours a day. That's it. It ain't no more eight, 12. I'm not going to be out here sitting around in this car not working and getting paid to work, what I mean. I'm going to be doing something productive all day. But it ain't gonna be ride share. That's what I mean by I quit ride share or delivery apps, okay? Um, and then when I get that that big boy job, full time job, I'm not doing ride share at all. Done. If I become a police officer, hopefully, or whatever job that pays me sixty, seventy thousand a year, no more ride share. I'm not even doing part time. Done. I'm gonna change this net channel name to my name with maybe a little nickname um, added to it. But yeah, I'm not gonna be doing this. So um, once again, you know, I appreciate all love and support. Um, if anything y'all want, to, if any of y'all want to reach me, you can reach me at officialrideshirehustler at gmail.com. I respond faster on Twitter. Um, Twitter is the RS Hustler, the RS Hustler. I respond the fastest. You can hit me with an inbox or you can hit me with a um, tweet. And um, I will definitely 100% respond. Um, I'm going to start putting comments up on Twitter. It's just, it sucks talking rise here on Twitter because that ain't really the platform to do it, but I'm going to probably just talk about other stuff. But yeah, um, rise here on Twitter is just not it. But with that said, um, you know, anything y'all want me to know, put in the comments. Remember, if I don't respond, it doesn't mean I didn't see it because I see all the comments because when they pop up, um, I'll just show you guys real quick. I'm not going to find my phone here. Where did I put the phone at? Um, awkward. Right before trying to do this video what the heck see this is like the worst luck in the world i just had the phone in my lap oh messing up my video here uh, i feel like michael jackson with chris chris tucker you messing up my video chris messing my video mm. so let me show you guys so you see how it shows all the comments right there from top to bottom but if you um if you look here, you know, I had 138 comments. I probably wrote about 20 of those comments. My light just went out here, um, died on me. But it shows the comments right there. But it shows like the top three. So I'm always constantly looking at this. So, you know, you guys just know you can leave a comment. I'm gonna respond. It's gonna take a little bit of time because there's a lot. 
Now you gotta remember when I was doing this before, you know, when I have viral videos, like this video for me is going viral. This is viral for me, even though it's 1.4K. Um, these videos, I had a lot of comments. I wasn't able to respond to a lot of people. So I apologize, cause I don't want y'all feeling like I'm neglecting and I'm not showing and appreciating, you know, the comments, but yeah. Um, when I'm like, when I'm getting blasted, which I'm happy, I'd rather have a million comments than, than two. Um, it's tough. So bear with me and don't think that I'm being, you know, um, shady and not, um, you know, showing love in, in, in regards to that. So with that said, that's all I got. Um, you guys hit me with the comments. You hit me with the email if you want to talk personally or Instagram. And if I feel like we can have a good conversation over the phone, definitely I'll share you my number. I'm all about working together, maybe making something shake happen. Uh, but only, you know, respectful conversations. Because I have people that troll me and people that be trying to, you know, mess up a happy home. I'm not going to play around with that. I'm not trying to go on no dates. I don't want no women. Uh, I want none of that. All I want to do is... Um, make money now i'm actually i see the rise here guy just came over the video talking about 35 dollars an hour drivers making it let's we're gonna see what he's talking about but yeah other than that i'll probably come back on with another video tonight maybe tomorrow uh, with a couple other things i want to address but i hope i made things clear i'm not quitting rise share i'm just doing it until september then in september i'm gonna get a full-time job by the end of september that i'm going to do as much overtime as possible and do it to the best of my ability and then after uh or before you know um i get that full-time job i'm going to be doing life insurance solar sales uh while doing ride share just to pay my bills until i get to that point um so that's where we're at um school starts um and i think it's august 28th i'm going for another semester because i may finish that out but it just depends because if I get that big boy job, like say I become a police officer, I'm going to finish school because you get paid. Um, they pay your tuition and you technically would be getting paid to go to school while, you know, doing your you know police police work, uh, police academy, really. Um, and then, you know, um, uh, working active. Um, it's kind of like the military. You got to look at it like the military in regards to, you know, how it works. So with that said, um, I'm going to go. I'm about to go and... Um, head to the house and um, um, chill. And then tomorrow we're back at it again. I'm gonna be doing about 16 hours a day. I'm about to do IO7's um, game plan until the 30th. So that way I can have $5,000 um, cushion for everything with my son and my daughter and try to stretch that for a month and a half. And then, um, you know, we'll be all lined up. So I'm sorry I threw a lot of information at you. I threw all this information at Cali Girl 2 and she was confused, but guys, it's it's nothing complicated about it. I'm getting a regular job. This is exhausting. This is stressful. This is tiring. You know, I have a headache just thinking about the past few weeks. It's impossible. But I'll be back with something else soon. That's all I got for now. I'm out. Peace. Do me a favor. Forgot to tell you guys. If you appreciate this video, you like this video, you believe that things are going to be interesting in my life, great in my life, hit that like button for me. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, but once again, that's all I got. I'm out. Peace.